Welcome, everyone. Let's get ready for some basketball on 2K Sports. It's Olympiacos, Piraeus, and Athens. We've got a chance now for our starting lineups from point guard to center. This game should be a good one. So it's Olympiacos with it. Oh! Now Young inside. Let's it fly. And they're going to count the bucket and send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. And they get the first one. And they'll hope that sets the tone at the offensive end going forward. It doesn't always work out that way, but better to start Nick. fast than not. Columbus. Beautiful feed off the bounce to his teammate there. Nicely done. Passes it to Spinouis. Good on the triple. And you know, he's going to continue to bury those if that's how they're going to DM up. Let's go quickly over to Doris Burke for an update. Well, Kev, I was able to catch up with the head coach for Athens. He told me, for us, defense is all about the space between our ears. We know that if we defend as a unit, instead of trying to react to everything that comes our way, we'll be better off for it and in a position to win. Let's see if that's the case here. Wonderful, Doris. Thanks. They're thinking about their defense right off the bat here. Yeah, great thought, really, to have coming out of the locker room. Worry about making stops first and foremost. Let the offense take care of itself. Yeah, I agree somewhat, but at some point you've got to do some work offensively as well. They can't rely on defense alone. He passes to Monzaris. Here's Spanulis. Six to shoot. Takes the lead pass. And every once in a while, he'll show up and give you some great moves around the hoop. There's the pass to Diamantino. Feeds it to Pavlovic. Here's Pavlovic. And here comes the break. Pass to Spinouis. That's good. Wow, what a pass there. He made that a very easy basket with that setup. Olympiacos on D. And here in the first, approaching three minutes played. Here's Kalathis. He dishes it to Pavlovich. And it's off the back rim, no good. Olympiakos leading by six. Here's Spanoulis. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll get the two chances at the free throw line here. This is his first free throw of the game. First free throw is good. We're about three minutes into this first quarter. Here's Kalathis, the dish to Pavlovich. Kicks to Kalathis. Passes to Diamante. Uh. 
Boy, he picked him out brilliantly with that speed inside. Spinellis passes to Monzaris. He feeds it to Young. It's tipped. And it's going to be a goaltending call here, so they'll count the bucket. He didn't get to that one quite in time, Kevin. Those can be tough to gauge sometimes. And that one's good. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. Yeah, they're lasered in. I mean, really making the most of their possessions. Spinellis passes to Monsaris. He passes to Spinellis. Monsaris. Down to five on the shot clock. Young outside. The pass to Monsaurus. Pass to Spinellis. There's the triple. Rare you'll see him miss such an open look. And Olympiacos making a change. No, he didn't. Did he just break out the finger roll? That's nice. Diamantidis, the pass to Kuzmik. The feed now to Pavlovich. Vicious to Kalathis. Pass to Pavlovich. Misses the JM for tricking the D with the nifty pass. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. For Olympiacos, they have shot two of three from the free throw line tonight. And, and that one miss shouldn't be too costly because he was able to make it a two possession game. Here's Haynes. Smooth as silk on the finger roll. Olympiacos leading by three. That's the handed. Jeski. The pointer. And the shot is good. And he found the perfect spot behind the arc there. Big gap in the deep. Four on the clock. Not too much congestion in the lane. I think he could have gotten a better shot that time. No question. Kenneth <laughs> goes trails by eight. Clark, some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, they need a basket just to regain some momentum here, Kevin. 
Fight the shoot. Williams. Here's Williams. And he lays it straight in. The plan of attack is obvious. Get the ball inside. It goes strong to the right. And Greg, you know, the defense has been very slow to adapt. I mean, that's 10 straight points now inside. And that's what I'm going with possession. They trail by six. Jumps up. Excellent work there in transition. Yeah, I think it's always better to go early in transition, to attack when it's there. Because oftentimes you can beat the defense down the floor. Not the best to have it. Lojeski. Goes up from the top of the key. They get the rebound. Second chance shot. Off target at the rim. Well, the echo was there, but he just couldn't quite find his way through track. Number eight, there's the buzzer, and not much scoring at all through the first quarter of play. Olympiacos out in front, up one. And back with the start of the second quarter in just a moment. And we got a close game here as we get back to the second quarter. And looking at what we've seen so far, guys, from the visiting team, what do you think? It's just been a long-range battle for them and, and one that they're winning right now. Yeah, start shooting from deep, a big part of why they're up. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. That's right. Five of their last six makes were on the interior. They've established their inside presence. Hackett, the pass to Strawberry. Pass to Hackett. Finds the bottom of the bucket from 13 feet out. And Olympiakos leads by one. Haynes passes to Radulica. <laughs> Number 12. And it's going to be a 24 second shot clock violation. They turn it over. And Olympiakos making a change here. This is it to Monsaurus. Lays it up and banks it in. Oh, how about the floater there? Nice drop. Panathan Icos trails by three. The pass to Diamantino. Pass to Monsaurus. Fires top of the key. Cannot hit. And that's a shot he struggled with before, but you can't fault him for taking it with the defense backing off. 
And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for Olympia. Well, in the first half of play, they're closing out aggressively, blocking shots. A key indicator of their activity on the defensive side. Another thing, I mean, they've done a great job early of creating chaos on defense, being disruptive, and getting steals through the first half of today's game. And Olympiacos making a change here. Young's checked in. Here's Pavlovich. Five points in the game. And again, it's Benetonikos missing. And they're running. Passes it to Princesses. Radulitzer with the rebound. Diamantidis, the best. To Pavlovich. And the pass to Princesses. I'm not sure that was the play they had set up, but it was too good a look to pass it. Pass to Diamantini. He kicks it. To Pavlovich. Olympiakos leading by five. Passes to Giamantini. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. Oh, the, the officials are all over that one. Clearly a foul. I mean, didn't give him any choice but to blow the whistle. I mean, you got to play without fouls. For Olympia, they have gone five of seven from the free throw line in the game. You know what? A low percentage pass on that one, but sometimes it's worth the risk. Well, that time the risk did not pay off because it was well defended. And if the night goes, making a switch here. Who's mixed checked in? Here's Pavlovich. And he gets it to go. Olympiakos leading by four. That drops. He's got eleven. Well, I'll tell you what, the defenders didn't even get a sniff of him on that move to the hoop. The pass to Monzo. Tries to save it. He hit a three in the first, but so far has been unable to capitalize here in this quarter. Pavlovich with the bucket. Now just a one point Olympiacos lead.
tremendous solo run he's on. I mean, the kind we've seen him have so many times before. On the clock. Here's Diamantini's. And unable there to get the go ahead bucket. You know, the right thing there oh. to try to fade away with the D all over him, but that is a difficult shot to sink. Yes. James, yes. Two shots. And the night goes shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. And Olympiacos making a change here. And that one falls, and that puts him up by one point. <laughs> And so it's Olympiacos with it. To end the drought, and the layup is good. Now Athens with it. Feeds it to Kalathis. They set the screen. Just five on the clock. Pass to Hunter. Come on, get up on him. Backing in. Hits the jump hook. I like the way they're working the ball inside because when you do that, you get higher percentage shots and tip. Perfectly good things happen. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. That pass out in front of him and let him just run into it in rhythm. Pass. Ah. Just the newest. Oh. Well, Jesse. Here's the three. And that one's good. And a pretty tightly contested game here as we end the first half. Olympiacos leads by only two. And we'll be back right after halftime to get the third quarter underway. Now well, both sides have assessed what they need to do over the break in halftime. We'll see now if one can pull out away here in the third. Montsaris passes to Spinous. Here's Princesses. Passes it to Spinous. Shoots the three. And good on the basket. Book it. He's got 14. Still, out of the night goes ball. These defenders had better start closing out on those shooters. That's two in a row, and we call that a streak. Kalathis kicks to Radulica. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
He dishes it to Kalathis. He feeds it. To Radulica. And the rebound goes to Olympiakos. hesitant near the rim. We saw it there. The defense offers just a little bit of resistance. He doesn't take it up quite strong enough. For Olympiacos, they have gone 6 of 9 at the line. The first free throw is good. And he makes both free throws. <laughs> Panathinaikos trails by seven. Olympiacos plays ball. Lock at six. Here's Pavlovich. Shoots it. And the shot clock expires. 24 second violation. Montzaris passes. The princesses, and there's the pass to Spinous. He passes to Monzonis. Buries the long range jumper. He's got 17. I'm not sure who was supposed to pick him up, but somebody's going to get an earful from the coach for leaving him that wide open. Pass to Spinous. Pass to Monzonis. The 19-foot shot. No good. So, Panathinaikos will take it the other way. You know, the defense has got to do a much better job of fighting over those screens. And Greg, especially when the ball is in his hands. I mean, come on now. You know he doesn't miss too many open looks like that. Here's Kalathis. The pass to Diamantini. There's the dish to Radulica. Young with the steal. Papa Petro tries from the block. Young's shot is off. That's an example there, guys, of contesting the shot and corralling the board. That's really all you can ask of a guy at that end of the floor. No good. You know, even against defense as tight as that, you expect him to bury those. Yeah, I, I don't know, though, Clark. That defender was on him like glue on that possession. That would have been a heck of a bucket, even though we've seen him hit those in the past. Kicks it to Kalathis. He passes to Giamatti. Shot clock at five. Oh. 
Spinellis passes to Monsanto. The eleven footer. He trains it as the shot clock ticks down. Nineteen points in the game. Defender a little hesitant to offer resistance as he bursts to the hoop. Passes it to Princesses. Papa Petro. Here's Princesses. The feather That's touch the on the finger roll. Beautiful. And guys, what do you think about the hustle stats here for Olympiacos? The activity level defensively, I I've really been impressed with. They've been in attack mode on the defensive end. And guys, the thing that jumps out at me is their block shots. I mean, they're playing up on the shooters tightly, and then they're sending them back. And I mean, putting those shots in reverse, all in a clear, good day's work. The pass to Haynes. Moses, a finger roll finish at the bucket. Here's the screen. And Olympiacos making a change here. Number 25. Athens trails by 12. Pass to Haynes. Still, part of the night goes ball. It's blocked. And so it looks like that. The Nikos will retain possession here. Shot clock at six. Number 12. And with that one, the lead is trimmed to single digits. Nice stroke from long range. If he keeps getting those opportunities, he better take them. Here's Panathinaikos with the ball. Nine-point game. Passes to Hackett. Shoots from the baseline. And that one's good. They're straying away from the three-point game here in the second half. That's fine. As long as they're on the lead and they're getting good shots, they decided not to take nearly as many three-pointers in this half. Olympiacos leading by 11. He passes it to Strawberry. Shoots. on the jump shot. And Olympiacos leads by 13. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Here's Haynes.
And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. Olympiacos out in front. They lead by 13. And after a quick break, we're going to come right back with the start of the fourth quarter. Welcome back. Fourth quarter action starting up in what has been a one-sided show. Back to Williams. Let's it go from deep. Olympiacos leading by 10. Now the pass to Hackett. Six on the shot clock. Here's the break. Number 12. Launches it. And the shot is good. And Olympiacos leads. By 13. Boy, I tell you what, he loves getting looks like that from the three-point line. No one near him. That's a warm-up jumper for him. And Olympiacos making a change here. Ah! They got to keep fighting their way to the line, guys. This half has been nothing but success for them there. Yeah, taking full advantage from the charity strike. They've yet to miss here in the second. Nice piece of work there. Get yourself a little space and pull the trigger. Olympiacos leading. By 10. And Olympiacos making a change here. Williams. Kicks to Radulica. Back and down. Well, they've only got a slight edge in rebounding when you look at the numbers, but it certainly feels a lot bigger than it is. <laughs> yeah, the, the score has a lot to do with that. Their overall effort and execution has been elite. And here's Olympiacos. Passes it to Hackett. Oh, 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 oh. Here's Wojewski. For the three. It's hauled in by Athens. But sometimes it's more about what the defense is doing on that possession. They were all over him on the perimeter. Oh, and there's the one-handed jam. And a few more points tacked on to their lead in the cruelest way possible. You're right. Yeah. Those putback jams sting, don't they? My goodness. Yeah, they really hurt you. I mean, 
the defense forces a miss and then can't rebound it and finish off the defense, they're hanging their heads in their chest now. That hits. Shot no good. So Panathinaikos will take it the other way. Oh! Here's Diamantini. Tapes it into the teeth of the D and converts the way up. There's the pass to Hackett. Yes, Hunter. Here's Hunter. He's guarded by Williams. Pass. The princesses. Lock at six. Pass to Giamantini. Dishes it to Pavlovich. Punches a three. And this is someone that can really hurt you from long range. He did that to a degree in the first half. And he's doing it now. Williams gets the bucket. And the pass to Hackett. Four on the shot clock. On deep. Got his own. The shooting numbers just aren't there yet in the court. Pass to Diamante. And so far in the second half, this has been a different kind of game than what we saw early on. No question about it. I mean, these teams are really battling hard now. Doris Burke has some information for us. Doris? Hi, Kevin. The head coach for the visiting team had some instruction for his guys during that last break. He told his squad, listen, guys, it's close. It's about execution here. If we do that, I like our chances. No hero ball. Just trust each other and make the simple play. Kevin? Here's Kalathis. Here's Pavlovich. And the rebound goes to Olympiakos. Young's got his sixth rebound on the night. And he goes in for the dunk. You know, he might be small for a center, but it doesn't really matter because he can jump out of the building. Now a timeout called by Ben. They're behind. 
by seven. We've got 118 left in the fourth quarter. Here's Kalathis. Diamantidis. The feed to Kalathis. He passes to Gist. on the clock. That's something they need to do more of. Get after it on the glass. Go get those boys. Clark, it wouldn't hurt. Some extra possessions would definitely help narrow the gap and maybe swing the momentum. Is it to my Second shot opportunity. They get it again. And another shot. Shot, a trip to the line to shoot two. I mean, you know what? Very close to a three-point play right there. Yeah, he almost got that one down. I mean, those are the kind of aggressive plays coaches love to see. Here's Haynes. Smooth as silk on the finger roll. And when it comes to soccer, 